Christ Consciousness It is not enough to be concerned about your life on earth. You should be equally concerned about your life and well-being when you move into the next dimensions. Here, more than ever, you find yourself within the dimension of being, which is the outer manifestation of your own consciousness, but to an even greater extent than when you are on earth. When on earth, you do create your own unique environment from the fabric of your overall consciousness, but you can also partake of your neighbor's environment when you meet or live together. This means that when you are on earth, you can move into a more pleasant environment, meet more pleasant people than your own consciousness normally creates or attracts to you, but this incompatibility leads to friction and discomfort. People either feel out of their comfort zone or stifled by the higher consciousness they encounter and can't wait to get back to the lower conscious environment in which they feel at ease. Some people are drawn and born into a consciousness strata in which they feel they are aliens and spontaneously begin working, even in childhood, to move away into the strata of consciousness in which they will be able to thrive. The level of consciousness you die with is the level you bring back. Sometimes a person with a high level of spiritual perception may be drawn at birth into a family of lower spiritual levels because the environment will strengthen their awareness and increase their spiritual stamina as they struggle in their early years to return to their rightful consciousness home in the spiritual stratum on earth and later in the next world. Just as you experience your undeveloped consciousness when you pass over, so do you go into the higher dimension which reflects your own consciousness when you have reincarnated several times and worked on gaining spiritual insight. You find that you and everyone else you encounter is of the same consciousness. You will be magnetized into the conditions which are compatible and by reason of your own creativity you can perfectly contribute to. If on passing over, the consciousness has been ego-oriented and vicious, the individual will quickly reincarnate since the feeling of discomfort will be intolerable. Gladly such a person returns to Earth in another identity. At this level of existence, Earth conditions seem to be preferable to those in the astral world. It takes many lifetimes before the soul awakens to the fact that escape is only possible when the human mind sets itself to try to lift the perceptions and consciousness to a more endurable comfort zone. The more spiritual the consciousness of a person before they pass on, the more they have looked back over their lives, gained insight into the ego control of their mind and feelings, the damage they have done to other people's lives, the unhappiness they have caused, the greater the spiritual progress will they make. As they experience burning remorse, so does the pain of the remorse eradicate the ego domination in their minds and hearts, until, little by little, they eventually leave this life fully aware that the path of unconditional love is the only way to follow. Such people fully understand, acknowledge, and are clearly aware that all misery, sickness, deprivation, lack of success, and happiness are derived from the lack of love in one's approach to life, people, and environment. Criticism is the biggest obstruction of all to inner happiness because it is highly destructive. It is reflected in the person's life because when you judge, judgment comes home to roost, as the saying goes. Criticism of others interferes with their well-being and consequently, as we damage others even in the slightest again, that damage will return with interest. Therefore, when you undertake to walk Christ's way, you must understand that it is a path of relentless self-analysis and finding the courage to look at your actions in the light of love, willing to see the truth about your thoughts and emotions. As you move forward along the path, it becomes easier to move into a perception of the truth of others, of what drives them, motivates them, causes them to make mistakes in their relationship, in their workplace, and close family. The more you empathize with others, understand what motivates them, perceive the difficulties which put them into an ill-considered action, the higher becomes your own spirituality, your own sense of compassion and love towards those who, you now realize, are really doing the very best they can in the environment and circumstance that they have created for themselves. From this standpoint, it becomes easier and easier to apologize until the time comes when, seeing the truth of the other person so clearly, you cannot wait to forgive and erase all tension and criticism of them from your thinking. And when it comes to your time to pass over, such an illumined person, living in peace and harmony with the entire world, 
will move into a state of utter blessedness and joy. They move into light and there is no looking back at earth. At last, they find that they have moved into that dimension of being where they are content and fully at peace. After a while, they begin to notice that there are even higher dimensions of existence and they set about preparing, enlarging, expanding their consciousness to absorb even higher vibrations of divine consciousness and they become ever more creative and radiant transmitters of unconditional love. Such people are truly the Christ Consciousness. Namaste.